Hey guys, it's time for the MSR Micro Rocket review. I've had it for a couple weeks now. I've been playing with it, trying it out, doing some tests on it. And I think I've got enough information now that I'll be able to do a full review on it. I have a bunch of different segments here of the different tests that I did. So I'll kind of roll those through after I do the quick general review here so that you can get an idea of everything. So here's the stove itself. Pretty easy to open it up. Just pull the legs out and you turn them around. And that's for each of the three. And then the fuel handle just turns out here. Make sure you turn this off if you do have to turn it a little bit to get it on. I've done it a couple times where it's been on and I've screwed it onto the canister and gas just keeps coming out. So make sure you loosen that or tighten it if you need to. It's a really great little stove, really nice and small. Pot support handles are a little bit larger than the pocket rocket as I mentioned in the unboxing. Windscreen works really well on this. I did a wind test on it as well. So I'll let you take a look at that too. Overall, I would say this is probably going to be one of my favorite stoves, nice and small. Works with the isopro fuel canister. And let's get right into the test that I did on it. So we'll start off with just the basic measurements and the weight. Okay, so I've got the micro rocket set up here with the measuring tape and the scale. In the case, we're looking at about three and a half inches wide. And it's just a little over two inches this way. And the weight of everything, including the piezo igniter, is 4.3 ounces. So let's see what the inside is here. And I'll just quickly do the weight with nothing in the case, just so you know what the case weight is. So the case by itself is 1.3 ounces. The stove by itself is 2.6 ounces and the piezo lighter is 0.45 ounces. So the lighter is about three and a quarter, just about three and a half inches long. And the stove with it all packed is about three inches. And width wise, looking at about two inches wide. So let's open it up and see what the widths are when it's all open. Okay, so I've just got it all opened up here. I'll just do a tip to tip measurement on the pot supports. So it looks like it's just a little over four inches, about four inches and an eighth. Let's just make sure they're all the same. This one's just four inches. And then this one here is about four inches and an eighth again. So there's a little bit of a difference in a couple of them, probably just because of the hinges on here just puts two of them a little bit closer than the other ones. So there's the measurements and weigh-in for the MSR Micro Rocket. So to light the MSR Micro Rocket, all you have to do is twist it onto any isopro fuel canister. Make sure that the fuel knob is turned all the way off so that it's not spewing out fuel. You take your piezo igniter here and you just turn on the fuel and then make sure you get some fuel caught in there and push the button and it'll light right up. So this does have a fairly good simmer on it as well. You can turn it down fairly low. I haven't actually tried out like cooking bacon or anything like that on it, but it does seem to go fairly low. Or you can put it up all the way and it'll blast out the top like that. So that's how you light the MSR Micro Rocket. Got my one liter of water here and I have the MSR Micro Rocket. I'm just going to do a boiling time test. So we'll see how long it takes to boil this one liter of water with this on full blast. That's up all the way. I've got my timer here so I'll just start this once I put it on. And I'll throw the lid on as well. Okay, let's just see how it's doing here. It's starting to get bubbles on the bottom. It's not boiling yet though. We're just over a minute 39. It's just 
just over two minutes, starting to bubble a little bit, but not boiling yet. Still just bubbling. Just past the three minute mark. Starting to bubble a little bit more, but still not quite boiling. Shake around a little bit now, so it's got to be getting close. There we go, there's a boil. Just at 3.30. So probably around 3.33. And there you go. So there's a full boil on one liter of water on the MSR micro rocket right at 3 minutes and 33 seconds. I'm going to do a wind test on the MSR micro rocket. I just have a fan set up that has three speeds. So I'm just going to light it and then I'm going to turn it on to each of the three speeds and we'll see how well the flame lasts. So I'll just light it up. There we go, it's lit. And I'll just turn the fan on to the lowest speed first. So that's the fan at the lowest speed. So as you can see, the flame's still going. It's not going out in any of the three quadrants there. It's just kind of blowing it over sideways. Okay, go to the second speed. So now it's on the second speed. One quadrant on this one side here is going out just from time to time, but the other two are still staying lit. Okay, we'll just go for the highest speed now. So it's on the highest speed and it is fairly windy. And it's still lasting pretty well. So just turn the fan off. And we'll just try it on a simmer sort of setting, just if you were trying to keep your soup warm or something like that. So I'll just put it back on the first fan setting here, just to see how it does. So that's on the first fan setting. Still does pretty well. That one side, one quadrant is still going out. Try it on two. Okay, same sort of idea, it is still being lit, so the windscreen is working fairly well on the micro rocket here. And this is the third setting on it. So you're getting a little bit in these two quadrants this time. It's not just in the one. And let's just try turning it just to see if we can get it to go out at all. Just kind of put it in the worst possible position. Oh, and it's still doing pretty good. So I'll just turn it off. So the MSR Micro Rocket did do a pretty good job in the wind test there. It lasted through the three settings. I don't have any fans that do a higher setting than that, but that's a pretty good test if you were to throw it behind a rock or something like that. If there was a higher wind, you'd probably be fine, but it does show that the windscreen does work fairly well on the MSR Micro Rocket. Okay, so there's all the information for you on the MSR Pocket Rocket Stove. If you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll do a couple more of these in-depth reviews and hopefully get into some in-depth tent reviews as well where I can do some waterproof testing and maybe some wind testing on those as well. Overall, great stove as I've said a couple times in this review. Definitely recommend it. If you guys have any problems with it or you want me to test anything else out on it, let me know in the comments below as well and I'll see you guys for the next video. Thanks for watching.